What's good, y'all? Your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, back here once again with my preview and predictions for Survivor Series War Games. I'm looking forward to it. I think this is going to be a pretty good showing, man. Triple H, for the most part, has been killing the pay per views at least. The Monday Night Raw's weekly have been kind of a hit and miss, and the SmackDowns have been pretty solid. But the pay per views, he's been knocking them out the park, in my personal opinion. And I think War, him bringing War Games to Survivor Series, oh man. This is going to be the first Survivor Series in a while. I think the last Survivor Series I was really, really amped up for was the Monday Night Raw, SmackDown, and NXT Survivor Series. That was the last one I was, like, super amped up for. This one, I'm definitely excited. Can't wait because, I mean, I love the War Games stipulation, and I think it's going to be a very good showing. So, we're going to do my preview and predictions, who I think is going to win, who, I'm going to, who I think is going to lose, and what storylines may be set up from it. So... Let's start with AJ Styles versus Finn Balor. This match, I think, is going to be pretty good. Do I think there will be some, obviously, shenanigans from uh, both team members of the OC and Judgment Day? Yes. Um, honestly, I, I want to say, in my opinion, I want to say AJ Styles needs to win. In my personal opinion, I think AJ Styles needs to win here. Granted, I know Finn Balor is supposed to be the leader of the group. Um, but I think Finn Balor can take a loss, obviously, with the shenanigans involved. But I think AJ just needs a win. Uh, he needs a win uh, on this show. Um, it's been a... Correct me if I'm wrong. I could be wrong on this. But it's been a while since AJ Styles has won on a pay-per-view. So, I think... Him forming this faction, bringing out the OC and stuff like that. I think that could be a good way to get some momentum going. So I would have AJ Styles win the match. But I do think this is going to be a pretty good match. Will there be some shenanigans? Of course, but I think it's going to be a good match. Ronda Rousey versus uh, Shotzi Blackheart. Does anyone care about this match? I personally don't. It's for the women, SmackDown the Women's Championship. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I don't believe Shotzi stands any chance the problem they have right now on smackdown is they don't really have any contenders that actually legit stand a chance in my opinion outside of um shayna baszler and maybe raquel uh gonzalez i, I don't shotzi cool but no she's not beating ronda i this probably in my opinion uh may be the low point of the pay-per-view so yeah i'm don't really care for this match but i do have ronda retaining so all right cool now the match i think is going to be really fucking good and really entertaining seth rollins versus austin theory versus bobby lashley in a triple threat united states championship match oh man bobby lashley has been on a tear as of late ever since brock lesnar has came back and he lost the united states championship Austin Theory is like a new man, so it's it's interesting. He's more aggressive. He's more like he, he he seems more serious. And then Seth Rollins is Seth freaking Rollins. Um, this is a tough one because Seth just won the championship. Seth literally just won the championship, and with this triple threat, they could possibly have some type of way where somebody doesn't get pinned. Uh, to potentially set up another feud. But the question is, who do you have get pinned here? This is a tough one. I really don't know. If they want to do a reset on Theory. Mm, I'm, I'm, I'm really. I have been thinking about this. I don't know. I think. I don't think it makes sense for Austin to eat the pin. Because then we can't take him seriously. If that makes any sense. We can't take him seriously as a new newfound man. And I think they're trying to set up something with Bobby and Brock at some point again, obviously. So they're trying to keep Bobby Lashley strong. I think Seth is probably going to lose here. Seth will probably... I can see Seth eating the pin over Bobby Lashley. I do. I can see Seth. I can see Seth, I guess, picking up the scraps. Bobby Lashley maybe hits him with the finisher. And, and Austin Theory picks up the scraps and wins that way. I can see that because I, I think the, the objective is to get Austin Theory over as this newfound guy. It makes no sense for him 
if he loses and eats the pin. And the same thing for Bobby Lashley. I don't think Bobby Lashley needs to eat the pin anytime soon. I think he needs to be dominant going in, trying to face Brock Lesnar one more time. Obviously, they'll probably do it at WrestleMania. So I don't know, but I'm going with Austin Theory winning by pinning Seth Rollins. That's my prediction there. Seth Rollins is Seth Rollins. I know he just got the title, but at the same time, Seth Rollins can eat the pin and still be over. How many times has he lost to Cody and lost to Edge and he was still mega over? Seth Rollins can eat the pin. You know what I'm saying? So if they're trying to build up Austin Theory, which I think they are, they're trying to do a reset on him. I'm okay with Austin winning and being this aggressive champion and Seth Rollins eating the pin. And maybe we get another feud with them. I don't know. All right. So now we're getting to the war game matches. We're going to start with the women's war game match. Damage control featuring Bailey, Dakota Kai, EO Sky, Nikki Cross, and Rhea Ripley versus Alexa Bliss, Bianca Bella, Oscar, Mia Yim, and a mystery partner that we're, I'm filming this before Friday Night Smackdown. So I don't really know who the mystery partner is. But in my opinion, even with the mystery partner, I had the heels winning. I had the heels winning only because I think they're trying to set up something between Rhea Ripley and Bianca Belair. If you guys paid attention a couple weeks ago, Rhea Ripley caught the beats and it was great. And she was walking in the back nursing her wounds. And that's when she locked eye to eye with Bianca Belair. I think they're setting up something there. I, it just, for, in my opinion, I, I'm okay with that because I can see something where maybe Rhea Ripley ends up pinning, be, being the one to pin Bianca Belair. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I think Bianca and the Bailey story, I think we need, I think we should be past that. I'm okay with Rhea you know, <laughs> all jokes aside, I know y'all be like, oh, you hate Rhea. I really don't. I, I like her heel character. I'm okay with her um, being potentially the next challenger. And the best way you could possibly do that, granted, I don't like pinning the champion. So maybe you could pin somebody else. Maybe not the champion. But she can say, we beat you at war games. I beat you at war games. I want a shot at that. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I don't think the guest, whoever the mystery partner is, you know, some people are saying Sasha Banks. I don't even who, whoever it is. I don't see them eating the pin. I see the heels somehow overcoming. I, I'm going, you know, I think a lot of people are thinking of whoever it may be. The mystery partner is going to give them the edge and they'll win the match. But I, I'm, I'm going I'm going the opposite here. I just have a feeling that damage control is going to get the W here with uh, Nikki Cross and Rhea Ripley. I just have that feeling. And they're pushing Rhea Ripley as to potentially be the next champion on Monday Night Raw. Um, just how strong her character has been built. So I'm going with that. And the men's war games match. The Bloodline featuring Roman Reigns, Sami Zayn, The Uso, Solo, Sokoa versus The Brawling Brutes, Sheamus, Butch, Ridge, Holland, Kevin Owens, and Drew McIntyre. Ooh, bro. This is going to be a fun. This is going to be fun. I cannot wait for this. Just just the, the Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, like just their dynamic is going to be interesting. Kevin Owens and Roman Reigns dynamic is going to be interesting. Like this, there's going to be some storytelling in this match. I'm going with the baby faces winning this match. And the reason why, because I think now is kind of the time to start planting the seeds of the downfall. And what I want, what I hope happens is there's a situation where Kevin Owens is pretty much at the mercy of the bloodline. Everybody's like kind of passed out, knocked out. And they want Sami Zayn, because he's close with him. They want Sami Zayn to put him out, to take him out. And he hesitates. Like he has some slight hesitation. He's like, I don't know if we need to do this. And then Roman gets mad because he's like, yo, what the hell is what you doing? And that causes the quick distraction for them. Maybe Kevin Owens hitting somebody with the Stone Cold Stunner or the, the baby faces get the upper hand and ends up winning one, two, three. And what would be cool? Uh, I don't know if they would ever do this. I'm not sure. I doubt that Roman would ever eat the pin. So it would be interesting if KO was the one to 
make you know pin Roman, but I think they're still trying to keep him strong. So I think he ends up pinning like one of the Usos, or maybe Sami Zayn ends up getting pinned, you know, because of his hesitation. And then the next coming weeks, now Roman's like, okay, you're not so Usy anymore. We may have to get rid of you because you cost us the goddamn War Games match. So then we can set up the stipulation or the story. Sammy is about to get kicked out and they beat the living crap out of him. I'm talking about they ripped the Usi shirt off. They beat him into oblivion. And that's when Kevin Owens gets involved. And we can potentially have KO Sami Zayn going against the Usos because he knows them so well for the tag team championships. And then we start making the downfall from there. So the first level of the bloodline downfall starts with Sami Zayn. It starts with him. He gets kicked out. Then KO, Sami Zayn, goes for the tag team titles. They take the tag team championships from the Usos. Now there's some dissension there. Maybe there's some issues with Solo Sokoa. He's not liking how things are going. And one by one, people start falling away from Roman to the point Roman is by himself. And that, to me, is when whoever is supposed to be, that's when they take over. That's that's when they take over the situation. Now, as of me filming this, I'm not sure they may end up adding more matches to this card. Like I said, I'm filming this before, um, before Friday Night SmackDown. So they may end up adding a match with Bray Wyatt, you know, on the card. Who knows? Um, so we're going to see. But either way, that's my preview and predictions. I'm going to have the baby faces win the men's War Games match. I'm excited. I, I can't wait. Uh, let me know down below who do you guys think is going to win their respective matches. Why? Why not? And are you guys looking forward to the pay-per-view? Because I know I am. I'm excited about this. Survivor Series is going to be a great time. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel. Um, as of me filming this, before I get out of here, I want to let y'all know where I'm at subscriber-wise. Um, as of me filming this, I am at... 99,942 subscribers so by the time you see this i may have reached 100,000 subscribers but I, I think tonight i probably will reach that i'm filming this at 148 in the morning man gotta make sure i get the videos out for you guys um but if i have already reached this and you're seeing this now uh, i just want to say thank you guys so much for um all the love and support bro over these past few years a hundred thousand of you guys chose to rock with me chose to kick it with me and i'm so very thankful so uh yeah i do plan on doing a, a potential hopefully around the same time as smackdown 100k live stream and i'm gonna drop a video talking about that by the time this comes out i should be at 100k but we'll see man but either way man thank you guys so much i love you guys so much you guys literally have changed my life for the better and i could not be any happier to be uh uh someone that you you check out on the day to day day to day basis man so love you guys and uh see you guys next time peace <laughs>